Typically, most people that want to lose fat get up and go to the gym, but I'm gonna to explain to you why maybe getting up and going to the gym isn't the best idea if you have fat to lose. You see, lifting weights, doing burpees, or whatever other shit exercise that you come up with sounds like a really good idea because you're sweating and we've been told sweat is fat crying, but I can promise you that it's not because for most people, you can actually only get to the gym, let's say three times a week, or actually you only care to go three times a week because it's a pain in the arse to go anymore. But for some reason, people think that that's the best for fat loss. I'm going to explain to you a form of exercise that's even better than that, that is actually that easy that most people, when they do it, don't feel like that it is a form of exercise that's gonna benefit losing weight. But the reason it is, is because you can do it absolutely every single day. And quite literally, all you have to do is get outside and go for a walk. And I know this sounds extremely stupid. First of all, the aims of 10, thousand steps a day isn't actually what you should be aiming for. Scientific studies have shown that getting over 8,000 steps has shown to increase your mortality by 50%. And what the fuck do I mean by mortality? Let's make this simple for cunts like myself. Essentially means living longer. So all you have to do is try and increase your steps slowly towards 8,000 to improve your life, get fitter, get stronger, and also lose body fat. You see, people go to the gym and skip doing steps or walking because they think they've done their activity for the day. What we need to remember is, going to the gym is only one hour of your day. Walking encapsulates the whole entire 24 hours for seven days a week because we can quite literally fucking walk every day. And it's what we do consistently over a long period of time that's gonna get us the largest results. So what we actually wanna do is focus on making sure that we're getting our steps in on a daily basis. Now, if you're starting off in 500 steps, maybe just try get to 1,000. And we can slowly build that up towards the 8,000 goal. Again, it doesn't really fucking matter as long as we're trying to do a little bit better than we did the day before. Don't go scrolling anywhere yet because I know a lot of econs are sat here saying, oh sure, I can't be arsed getting out on a walk or I can't get motivated to go out on a walk. So I'm gonna give you a tip that's gonna fucking help with that. This tip is gonna sound like some hippy dippy positivity bullshit, look in the mirror, tell yourself you love yourself. But I promise you it's not that because if you know me, I don't talk shit. I leave that to V-Shred and Eddie Abu. So if you don't like bullshit and you want to hear straight tips that are actually gonna fucking help you lose the weight that you need to, make sure you click subscribe. But for this tip, you're gonna need your phone because we're not all ancient historians that use paper and fucking pens. You're gonna take it out and you're gonna note in your phone when you're sat there feeling like shit before going out for a walk. And you're gonna write down how you feel. I then want you to go outside and go for a walk and write down how you feel when you come back. When you feel not motivated to go out and do a walk or get your steps up slightly, what I want you to do is look at how you felt before you went and how you felt after. And I guarantee you that that's gonna make sure that you go out and get your steps in and that removes motivation because motivation is bullshit. Action has to follow first. And then once we start to get results from walking, like losing fat, and again, for most people in the next six to eight weeks, if you go out and increase your steps by an extra 500 a day, you're looking at losing somewhere around an extra six to eight pounds. Now, most people's excuse for not going out on a walk is actually time, but it's not really time. Most people are just too tired when they come back home. But I want one of fuckers to tell me that when you go out on a walk, when you come back, you're more tired. That doesn't happen. And that's why writing down and getting clear about how you feel after you come back from a walk is so fucking helpful. So make sure you try out that tip. If it's helped you out, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. And if it hasn't, fuck off somewhere else. Weight <laughs> loss. Maybe getting up into good... <laughs> Here with... Fucking cunt. <laughs> but I wanna make sure that you increase your steps. First of all, you <laughs> fucking cunt. <laughs>